Hello YouTube, Jeff Bosco from jeffbosco.com here. I got this photo I've been working on and uh, I have this area here where I needed to do what um, Michael Vlajnovic from uh, Open, uh, sorry, Vibrant Shot calls uh, texture grafting, which means you take, um, through frequency separation, you take area of the skin texture and move it over that and uh, with the rest you um, um, dodging and burning and clone stamping you can eliminate these areas and uh, his uh, tutorials for um, Photoshop and I wanted to do one for GIMP because it's a little different the way um, the frequency separation works in GIMP as opposed to Photoshop's so there's no um, as far as I know there's no tutorial on YouTube for this so I just wanted to show you how guys how I do it all right, uh, and this is a uh, this model is Lena Vega. I'll put a link down in the in the information where you can find her on Instagram. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is I got um, the frequency separation layer set up here. That was my dodging and burning layer. This is the low low uh, frequency, high frequency. And I'm not going to explain how to do that. I'm assuming if you're doing this stuff, you already know how to do that. Uh, but I'll uh, I'll link down to a, a GIMP tutorial on frequency separation because that is also different in GIMP. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take this area here of skin texture. And I already did some of it here, and I'll uh, switch back and forth to show you what I already did. This section here and a little bit over here, I already did this on. Uh, so once you get that selected, and you want to select an area bigger than you're going to need. Do Control copy Control c then Control v and that creates a a floating section then you hit make new layer to anchor that to a layer then you bring that down into my brought that down into my group of uh, my frequency separation group and what I want to do first is just scale this down a little bit not too much that way when I go to bring this over here to cover this up, if I need to, you know, change the perspective at all, I don't really need to, but yeah, maybe I'll just widen that out a little bit, bring that up. That way, um, when you shrink it, you can uh, you have a little bit more leeway with the amount of pixels. And just rotate that a little, and then just move it a little more. Once you move it into place, you put a black layer mask. And then you take a white brush, 100% opacity. Uh, I usually use a medium to hard brush. I don't think it's really that important. I'm just going to overlap with the section I did already a little bit. Not too much, though. And just paint over the areas... Because in an area like that, you're going to have that dark sh crease, but also right in front of the dark crease, there's going to be an edge that's very bright. So you want to get a little bit of both of those areas. OK. 
Okay, that looks good. Then you want to apply layer mask, and that brings that back to a regular layer. And then what you need to do is go to alpha to selection, and that selects that area of high frequency layer. Then you go to the regular layer, and what you need to do is punch a hole in the existing original high frequency layer which you do control X and I'll show you what that did do this select none and then I'm gonna solo the high frequency layer so that just punched the hole in there and then what you want to do is merge down I'm going to change this. Okay, yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, then you merge the new layer down onto there. And when it does that, for whatever reason, it switches the blending mode back to normal. So um, what you want to do is go back to grain extract. And I could see this around here, around the edge that's pretty easy to fill in so I'm not going to worry about that at the moment go back to grain merge and then and just with the healing brush tool see how easy it is Oop. wrong layer go down to the low frequency layer Obviously that's going to take more work with uh, clone stamping, healing, dodging and burning, but it already looks much better than this. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Don't forget to check out jeffbosco.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.